color and your voice to you, the anonymous singer upstairs of my apartment that I've never met. The building shivers. I hear you sing as the sun goes pale and my palms blush. I imagine your lungs like a skeleton wearing its melody as lipstick. I picture you articulated in your favorite dress. I bet it glitters. I know of an old folks home where they sink by the hour and the gray in their skin withers heavily for you. I wonder if anyone like them ever heard you. I wonder if you fix your lips to a fiasco in your mirror. I know of an old folks home where they sink by the hour and they wear their emotions on their cufflinks gray and tattered. Their age speaks the way you keep the confetti boxed in that voice of yours, your melody. You know, it could remind the elderly that despite the shake and dust, they're still beautiful. Somewhere, shoveled underneath what once was a strip of a 70s Chicago street, there's an empty room with a guitar and a bucket of dust. For being completely controversial, the two scold each other. The old pile of dust hollers to the bass strings choking the treble. I call this room a refuge, the type of place to keep the woman that once played like the miseducation of Lauren Hill sacred until yeah. that retro revolution in your voice can dig it up. Yes, I've heard you dig up the conversations of Alice Walker. You hum the passion of a poet, the vibrancy of a dancer. I hear your tongue tangle with the same burning passion like the Colombians who spark salsa on their dashing feet. I bet your tongue composes resonance of blind bliss like Ray Charles resonating the keys, your sound. It breaks into distant echoes that conceal chaos of a music that is so serene it makes lonely nights tucked underneath bed sheets and bones feel comfortable. Take me home. Take me to a place that sounds like the overcoming struggle in your voice. We sound like stagnated static. I lip sync to an offbeat tune for the floor of yours and the ceiling of mine that separates us. You and I might be complete strangers, but our shadows share inspiration. Our stained hand prints share a vision when pressed against glass. I see my eyes, see poems, see life sparked in your music, mocking verse. We should run away to an instrumental off of Sade's new album. We should record our sound, rewind its diversity, place it in the hands of the bitter souls and the adolescents walking down the wrong path. And then let's walk off as these two complete strangers who just met to share an invigorating moment. Mm.